Hey guys, welcome back to Shade Review. In today's video, we are comparing a pair of Ray-Ban New Wayfair sunglasses that I bought from eBay for only $59 against a pair that I bought from the Sunglass Hut for $194. So let's just get into it. Okay, so the pair here to the left is our Sunglass Hut pair, and the pair here over to the right is our eBay pair. And right from the beginning, we can tell that the eBay pair has a more faded Ray-Ban logo than the Sunglass Hut logo. The Ray-Ban logo on the Sunglass Hut pair is much more sharp. It's a much brighter red than here on the eBay pair. This one's gonna be a little bit hard to show up on video, but if we take a look at the actual boxes themselves, we can see a lot of texture here and a lot of grooving and depth here on the real Ray-Ban box. And then if we take a look here at our eBay pair, we can see it is very, very shiny. As you guys can see, it's reflecting the light and we don't have all that texture that we have on the real Ray-Ban box. So that's something small, but definitely something to note. Now let's take a look at the uh, barcodes here on on the corners and this is going to be probably the biggest difference here on the boxes the pair here to the left again is the sunglass hut pair and then the pair here to the right is our ebay pair and we can see the tags don't look anything like each other they are completely different a real pair of ray-ban sunglasses absolutely never have a code that looks anything like this as you guys can see they are very different there's like a three layer texture here with this ivory sticker underneath and that's how it looks like on a real pair of ray-ban sunglasses but all white logo right here is what we see on fake sunglasses all the time and it is almost always a dead giveaway that our pair of sunglasses is fake if it comes with a sticker like this and not like this. So right off the bat, we're not looking good for the eBay pair. So now let's go ahead and actually open up the boxes. We'll put the Sunglass Hut pair up here and then we're going to take the eBay pair and we're going to open this up. So we're going to just pop the top up here and oh wow, all the uh, information here in cleaning cloth actually slide out. Uh, that's not supposed to happen. I've opened up hundreds of real Ray-Ban sunglasses and this information should be here in our Ray-Ban case. It should not be sticking out on the outside, but this could have been a return so they could have messed it up that way. And then we can see our Ray-Ban cleaning cloth and a little Ray-Ban user manual that says Luxottica right here. And we'll put that over here to the side. Next, let's take a look at the Ray-Ban case itself. So we'll pop up the top. And right off the bat, the case actually seems pretty nice, seems pretty legit. But when I open it up, it feels uh, very soft here. Usually it's a little bit stiffer on a pair of real Ray-Ban sunglasses. If we take a look at the actual sunglasses right here, we can see they are in this Luxottica packet, which is almost always seen on fakes. I believe back in the day, Ray-Ban actually did ship their sunglasses with this little slip here, but they haven't done that for about five to seven years. So almost always when you get a little packet like this that protects your pair of sunglasses, it is almost always fake. But let's pop this open and take a look at the actual frames themselves. So let's slide it out and take a look. And here we can finally see the actual product itself, the Ray-Ban New Wayfarers. We can see the little sticker here. And let's just take off the little coverings here on the stems. They do say Ray-Ban made in Italy right here in the temple. And the hinges feel pretty cheap actually. And that does not sound very good. It definitely sounds pretty fake. So let's move the camera in and take a look at the painted on Ray-Ban logo and also take a look at the sticker here and also take a look here at the hinge of the sunglasses and see how those look on our eBay pair. And all the markings that should be here are definitely here, but the frames to my eyes just look a little, little off. So we'll put these over here to the side and now let's take a look at our sunglass hat pair. Okay, so now let's go ahead and open up our sunglass hat pair, which we know is 100% real. So we'll open this up and take a look here at the case. And the first big difference we can see here is that the eBay pair's case is much smaller than the sunglass huts. Now if we take a look here at the logos, here is the real Sunglass Hut pair. And here we can see the logo is pristine and everything looks really nice and clear. And now let's take a look here at the eBay case. And here on the eBay case, we can see how it's kind of flecking off here. And we can see these little black circles here where the gold didn't adhere to the case very well. And that's seen all the time on fake sunglasses. The attention to detail just isn't there like it is on the real sunglasses. So that's definitely something to keep in mind. Well, let's actually pop up the top here of the Sunglass up there and see what we have. So here we can see all our information here is actually in the case, unlike the fake pair. Uh, we can see that it says rayban.com right here, where on the fake pair, it just says Luxottica here. And again, we can see the Ray-Ban red is much better and much more true to the actual color of Ray-Ban's red. 
uh, here on the real than it is on the fake. Again, we'll put that to the side and then take a look at the actual sunglasses themselves. So let's go ahead and take a closer look at these Ray-Ban New Wayfair sunglasses. And instantly, right off the bat, we can see that the quality is much better. Hopefully this shows up on camera, but we can see the placement of the Ray-Ban logo and everything feels just a lot better on the sunglasses. They do also have these little protective uh, covers here on the stems of the sunglasses, but it's only gonna be found on one of them, not on two of them. And that is a common trait on real Ray-Ban sunglasses. The hinges feel very, very good when opened up and when closing them. They feel very smooth and yet very solid. Let's go ahead and zoom in and take a closer look at the Ray-Ban logo, and we can see the placement is very good. And also let's take a look at the Ray-Ban sticker here. And here we can see because it's a pair of polarized sunglasses, it has a silver Ray-Ban sticker, uh, where on a pair of non-polarized sunglasses, it's usually gonna have this little sticker right here. So let's go ahead and grab the fake eBay pair and compare it here to the real pair. And here we can see the dimensions are definitely off on the eBay pair. They just don't look nearly as good as our sunglass hat pair. So now let's go ahead and change perspectives here so we can get a better comparison view of these two frames. Okay, so now with these sunglasses side by side, we can see there is quite a big difference between the real and the fake eBay pair sunglasses. Here we can see all the dimensions are just slightly off here on the eBay pair. We can see that the Ray-Ban logo placement is a little bit too low where on the reel it's much closer here to the top and from this angle we can also tell the number one dead giveaway that this eBay pair is fake and it is that this eBay pair has a slant here so they're actually tilted into the cheek where on the Ray-Ban New Wave faders they are not they don't have any tilt like that whatsoever on a real pair of Ray-Ban New Wave fair sunglasses so let's put these sunglasses front to front and here we can definitely tell that the eBay New Wave faders have a dramatic slant here and the reel definitely don't have a slant or anything like that whatsoever I'm really not sure why these Chinese fake sunglasses have a slant when they weren't supposed to, but that is a dead giveaway of these sunglasses. Also, we can tell they're a little bit shorter than the real pair is. So next, let's go ahead and break out our Canon 100mm macro lens so we can get some really good close-up shots of all the key differences of these sunglasses. Okay, so here's a close-up of the real Ray-Ban logo, and this real pair happens to be polarized. That's why they have a P after the Ray-Ban logo here. And here we can see the logo looks very good, and the placement is very close close to the top of the edge of the sunglasses. Again, here on the real sunglasses. So let's go ahead and take a look at the fakes. And over here on the fakes, we can see that the painted on logo really isn't that good. We can see that there's a lot more paint splatter here on the fakes that wasn't found there on the reels. Also, I think here on the fake, the Ray-Ban logo is a little bit smaller than it was on the reel. For those of you who don't know, every pair of real Ray-Ban sunglasses has an etched RB logo in the middle left of the lens. So let me adjust my focus here. And then here we can see on the real sunglasses, the etched RB logo, and we can see how crisp and clear it looks. And now let's take a look and see if it even is on the fake pair. So let's move over here and take a look at our fake pair of sunglasses. And here on the fakes, we can see the logo also is here, but we definitely can tell the logo isn't quite as nice on the fakes as it is on the real. But unfortunately, fake sunglasses now, of course, do have painted on logos, and they also have the etching right there in the middle left of the lens. Okay, so next up, we're gonna take a look at the Ray-Ban logo. And again, this is on the brand new real pair of Ray-Ban New Wayfair sunglasses. Here we can see the logo looks very, very nice and perfect. Now let's move over to the fake sunglasses and see how the fake logo looks. And here we can see, once again, it just doesn't look nearly as premium as it does on the real sunglasses, but there isn't quite a big difference or anything I can really point out to show you guys a difference between it other than the logo just looking a little bit chintzier. Okay, so now let's go ahead and take a look here at the text found on the inner left temple of sunglasses. And right now we're looking at the text on the authentic New Wayfair sunglasses. And here we can see everything looks really nice and clean. So now let's go ahead and take a look at the text here on the fake sunglasses. And here on the fake sunglasses, we can tell that it actually almost looks like it's a little bit of a different font. And the font definitely looks smaller. And also the placement looks a little bit off here on these frames. Okay, so next up we're gonna talk about the hinges of these two sunglasses. Again, the real is the pair here to the left and the fake is the pair here to the right. And we'll take a look here at the inside of the hinge and here we can see on the real it is perfect and pristine and here on the right it is pretty disgusting. We can see they did not do a good job of filing off all the extra plastic here. And if we move the sunglasses and get a different perspective here, we can really see how disgusting it is here on the fake pair sunglasses. It's just absolutely terrible. But if we take a look here at the real, we can see it's perfectly clean and nice, 
just like it should be on an expensive pair of sunglasses. Okay, so here we brought in my wife's cooking scale and we're going to weigh both these sunglasses. Here we have our fake pair of sunglasses and it says that it weighs 43 grams. Now let's pop on the real sunglasses here and here we can see it only weighs 38 grams. And for those of you wondering, that's the exact weight that a 55 millimeter pair of Ray-Ban New Wayfarers should weigh. They should weigh 38 grams. So again, 38 grams on the real, and then here on the fake, we have 43 grams. So quite a big difference between both of these sunglasses as far as the weight goes. So that means that there's actually a five gram weight difference between these two sunglasses with the real pair being lighter. And the last thing we're going to do is check for UV protection. So on every pair of real authentic Ray-Ban sunglasses, they offer 100% UVA and UVB protection. Here we can see a little UV detector that tells us how much UV light is being transmitted. Here we have the fake sunglasses and it's reading 0.5. The max score we'd see here on this UV detector would be an eight. So that means when wearing these sunglasses, some UV rays are still coming in through the lenses into your eyeballs. And those UV rays are very dangerous to your eyes, especially when your pupils are already dilated because because you're wearing something that's making your vision a little bit darker. So wearing sunglasses that don't offer UV protection can be a key factor in causing macular degeneration, which eventually can cause vision loss. So you definitely want to stay away from sunglasses that don't offer UV protection. And over here, of course, we have the real authentic Ray-Ban sunglasses. And as you guys can see over in the bottom right corner, it reads a zero zero, even though it's a little out of focus and I apologize for that. But as you guys could probably imagine, it's very hard to get the focus right when both hands are not on the lens. But every single pair of authentic Ray-Ban sunglasses are always going to read a zero zero. Okay, so the last thing I'm gonna do is I'm actually going to wear both the fake and the real Ray-Ban New Wayfarers on my face so you guys can get a good idea of what the real and what the fake sunglasses look on somebody's face. So here we have our fake pair of Ray-Ban New Wayfarers and they just feel very cheap. I wish I could show you guys how they feel but I can't uh, really do anything but try to describe how they feel cheap and plasticky and they just feel very chintzy, where the real Ray-Ban Wayfarers just feel very premium and nice. There isn't a lot of give to them, they are very solid. Where here on the fake sunglasses, there's just a ton of give, and they're just very, very cheaply made. So here's the fake pair of Ray-Ban New Wayfarers, and I'll put these ghastly sunglasses on my face. It really pains me to put these on. So here is what a fake pair of Ray-Ban New Wayfarers look, and here we can see they look stupid, they look pretty bad. Even though these sunglasses look somewhat similar, the devil is in the details and there's a huge difference between these and a real pair of Ray-Ban New Wayfarers. So again, here are the fakes and they just don't even look good, they look stupid. And I personally can spot someone wearing a fake pair of Ray-Ban sunglasses like these from a mile away and it's just disgusting and quite honestly very embarrassing. So that was the fake and then here are the real pair of Ray-Ban New Wayfarer sunglasses. And these sunglasses even feel much, much better on the face and as you guys can see, they look so much better. Honestly, it's kind of shocking how much better these real Ray-Ban New Wayfarers look than the fake sunglasses. They just look very, very sharp on the face. All the dimensions are absolutely perfect on this real pair of Ray-Ban New Wayfarer sunglasses. I recommend you stay as far away as possible from these cheap, too good to be true deals on eBay where the sunglasses are only $59. An authentic new pair of Ray-Ban New Wayfarers is never going to sell online for under $90. It's just not gonna happen. So if you're spending under $90 on a pair of New Wayfair sunglasses on eBay, you're most likely buying fake sunglasses. I recommend spending a little bit more and buying them on Amazon. You can get these on Amazon for around $130. And if you guys want to check out another website I recommend buying sunglasses from, it's called Jama Shop. And Jama Shop has Ray-Ban New Wayfair's 100% legit for around uh, 90 to $100, which is a very, very good deal. And I've personally bought tons of Ray-Bans from Jama Shop, and they definitely don't sell fake sunglasses. They even sell Rolex watches for, you know, 20, 30, 40, $50,000. And all those watches are definitely legit and sell for even above the MSRP, because that's the way the Rolex market is right now. But my point is if they're selling real Rolex watches, of course, they're not going to mess around with fake sunglasses. And again, I bought tons of sunglasses from them, and every single pair of Ray-Ban sunglasses that I ordered from Jama Shop were one 100% legit. So I definitely recommend checking them out if you do want to save money on Ray-Ban sunglasses. Again, you're going to save maybe $40 or $50, but you're not going to save anywhere near $100 like you would on a fake pair of sunglasses. So again, if the price is too good to be true, it is, and you're most likely buying a fake pair of sunglasses. Well, that's all I got for you guys in this video. If you enjoyed it, make sure to give this video a big thumbs up down below, and of course, make sure to hit the subscribe button, and then be notified every single time I upload a brand new video just like this one to my YouTube channel. Again, thank you all so much for watching and I'll catch you all in the next one.